Right, just turn the walk round before we go flying. The conditions are peachy, a little bit cross, but it's light. So it's just a final walk round. Um, I've done some maintenance on the engine today. Uh, so this is kind of a bit of a, a post maintenance flight, just to make sure that nothing is untoward. Seven and eight engine mounts are all looking good. Airbox is on secure at the moment. So tonight I'm just going to go for a bimble around my local area. I've not done a sunset flight in this aircraft before and I thought it'd be quite nice. All the other conditions I seem to have been flying in have been somewhat uh, slightly more challenging than a smooth evening flight. <laughs> all clear around behind. Uh, ignition is going on. Final check. I've only went around to clip Rob. Okay, helmets are up, harnesses secured before. Instruments are set. Uh, route is back to here already. Wind. I've checked it. It's backing off and it's coming more south, so it should be more on the runway by the time I come back in an hour's time. Uh, controls are full and free. And eventualities from this wind direction. If I have engine failure on takeoff, I will be turning into wind and landing in the field. There are more field options down there. Um, if I'm high in the circuit for the time of engine failure, I'm going to be coming back and landing either downwind because it's crosswind. Let's get ready to go. Anyone on final? No, I can't see anyone. So let's just get lined up and take off. Okay, taking off. Far neutral. Slowly coming forward. Far coming back to neutral. Climbing away. Oh, what a lovely evening. I think it's the first time I've actually had warm air on my face. I didn't even put my neck over on. I must be mad. Still load of land out options. Although I could probably get back from here if I needed to. Although tonight I'm just going to go for a little bibble around my hometown. Just see what it looks like from the air. A little bit more detail. I end up normally just flying past it. I've deliberately waited until it's all sort of calmed down a little bit. One thing I'm very, very conscious of with flying two-stroke engines is that they can quit at any time. So I'm always looking for that next out. That's why I run the eventualities on takeoff. So I go very much back to my glider days. If you have a low, to if you have a low failure, if you have a medium failure, if you have a high failure. And that's kind of how I run my pre-flight, just so that I'm preconditioned for that moment, for that takeoff. I haven't got to think about it. I just, I'm following the plan I've already set out. So as I said in the walk around, I've just done the uh, the 10 hour maintenance on this, which is retighten the belt, retalk the head. Uh, I've reset the idle again, because that started creeping up. I noticed that when I was at Davidstoke, that uh, I was always having to use my boots as brakes, because the idle was quite high. And the surface was so smooth, I was just... The, the aircraft was running away quite quickly. One of the things I noticed on the Cornwall flight was... I knew it was going to be two hours, but that's a long time to be stuck in your own thoughts. Uh, although it was quite pleasant just to run through all the eventualities and, and bits and pieces in terms of where's my next land now going to be, so on and so forth. I forgot to charge my iPod. I was going to plug it into my headset and then... Uh, and listen to some music on the way over. But uh, unfortunately it was flat. I've always wondered how many people actually listen to uh, to music wh to while they fly, and uh, and what sort of music do they like flying to? If you've actually got this far in the video, drop a comment of uh, of what sort of music you like listening to. I'm fairly eclectic, from uh, a bit of Dire Straits through to a bit of house music. My friend Mark Nurse does like a bit of house music. Nursey, get a comment in there, buddy. On the gram, so other people know that we're more than friends. And ever since you came around, I've never been sober, always in my head.
evening. Uh, I've had a little tour of the area, seen some things I didn't realise. But one thing I do love about flying in the evenings, more so than during the day, is there are some things you can only see from the air when the shadows show up the ground and I love that. Still keeping an eye out for any other traffic. You did say there was an aircraft coming in. Let's look at the uh, socks of the wind variety. Uh, it's definitely light and definitely down the runway so we're gonna do a right hand circuit. Right, helmet is done up, harness is done up, fuel I've got sufficient for go around if required, still looking out for traffic. I'm on the required runway, just need to get down. I certainly need to aim further up the strip than I have been because I need to almost aim where the clubhouse is, as it were, because that's where it flattens out. The wind is calm and light tonight, so it's nice. Nobody coming in. a little bit high on that one but see how the winds calm down later could go up for some circuit practice <laughs> what's not to like temps are cooling and running ignition off yay oh uh, engine is working fine, temps are all good. I'm going to go and do uh, a post flight inspection of the engine in a minute. But, oh, sun, what's not to like? I'm not cold. It's been a lovely evening, just flown around the local area. As you can probably tell, I've got a stupid grin. Um, and isn't that what aviation's all about? Just loving being in the air. So, I think I need to do a few more paramotor flights for those that follow me for the paramotor side. And uh, I've got a few things planned for that. But, uh, but let's cut it here, so until the next time everybody, fly safe.